Welcome to this video where we're going to cover exporting estimates from LMN into QuickBooks. It's a really simple process, but you got to have your setup done first. So if you're watching this video and you haven't already watched the QuickBooks setup videos, do that first. It's really important. You've got all your settings done. That's where most of the work is. Once we get into exporting estimates, it's actually really easy, but you have to have that setup done first. Let's dive right into how to export an estimate. So here I am in LMN, I've got an estimate open, standard or service, either one will export, just a slightly different way they get exported in, in the details. Down at the bottom is going to be a key button for you. Now this will either say export to QuickBooks again, or if you've never exported this estimate, it'll be a blue button, it'll say export to QuickBooks. That's the key step in getting an estimate ready for export. Once I click that, it'll say estimate queued for export. And what that means is the estimate is now sitting, waiting to be exported to QuickBooks. It's not actually going to get exported until somebody with accounting permissions actually runs an export. And that's so somebody like a salesperson or an estimator can say, okay, I've sold this job. It's ready to go to QuickBooks, but they won't do the actual sync. The sync itself should be done by somebody who has a knowledge of your QuickBooks so that customers stay clean and they don't get mismatched and we don't have uh, a customer in under four different names. That's where accounting gets really messy. So this method allows somebody who sold the job to set it up and next time my accountant or my bookkeeper goes to do a sync, they'll control where it goes. And we'll show you that in just a minute. So that's the key button to get an estimate ready. However, if you get any kind of error on that or warning message, it's because you haven't matched your cost codes. So the cost codes are critical. Each one of your line items in your estimate has to have a cost code assigned. And the reason for that is cost codes are matched to service items in QuickBooks. Service items are linked to uh, chart notes. That cost code is critical for determining where this revenue is going to get booked to in QuickBooks. If you don't have a cost code, it won't know what sales revenue account to post this estimate to in QuickBooks, and therefore it won't let you queue it. So if you try to queue an estimate that doesn't have a cost code, you'll get a warning message to that effect. So you have to have your cost codes A, set up in LMN, and B, linked to service items in QuickBooks. Once you're done that, most of your work's done for you. So I've flagged this estimate. It's in the queue. It's ready to be exported. Let's actually run the export now. The first thing you're going to want to do is run the LMN QuickBooks sync tool. That's the tool we installed in one of the previous steps. And also in the previous steps, we've gone through all these settings, but very quickly make sure step three's settings are complete. When you export an estimate, this is gonna determine in the first setting, whether if you've already exported an estimate, it's gonna mark an existing estimate as inactive and import a new copy or replace the estimate. So that if I'm exporting an estimate twice into QuickBooks, like I've already done it once, and maybe we made some revisions and we have to do it again. The choice is that it'll mark the existing one as inactive and import a duplicate, or you can just replace the old one. And I'd usually re recommend the second one, keeps your QuickBooks cleaner. The next setting here is your QuickBooks tax settings. If your company never, and I mean never, charges your customers sales taxes, you can turn this setting off. But if you do anytime uh, in any scenario, have to charge a customer a sales tax, then you're gonna to wanna to have that on, very simple. The last setting is called costs and prices. And you've got two options here. If you choose the first option, prices only, that'll just export the price of your estimate to QuickBooks and leave it at that. If you choose the second option, both the costs of the estimate and the prices will get exported. And that way you can do a little better estimated versus actual reporting in QuickBooks. It's up to you whichever one you wanna use. I'll leave it on for the second one. Once you're done those, click OK. And assuming you've already gone through and matched your cost code and matched your taxes, which we've done in a previous video, you're ready to go. So to publish an estimate, you have to make sure you have some in the queue, but we've already done that because we went to this export and we, uh, this estimate I should say, and we flagged it for export. Now I'm back here and I'm gonna publish the estimates. So I'll click that button and we'll go next. And what's happening right now is it's bringing in all my LMN data and all my QuickBooks data. So it's looking at the estimates that are ready to be exported. And it's also bringing in some QuickBooks customers to see if we can't match them. So what's happened here is I've flagged that estimate for export and it's detected it and brought it up here. If for whatever reason I wasn't ready to export it, 
I can always uncheck include and it'll export all the estimates in the list that are checked off as include. I've only got one estimate here in this list, but you can export multiple estimates at once. I'm just going to do one to keep things simple for the video. Also, if you're exporting service estimates, note the tab here for service estimates. So there's actually two tabs. And if you've flagged service estimates for export, they're going to show up in that list. So if you don't see any here, make sure to try to this here. The really important fields are actually at the right hand side of this. So I'll make this a little bit wider. And there's two options here. One's import type and one's import status. Import type is going to choose how the estimate is going to come over to QuickBooks. A simple estimate is just going to export the total of the estimate. So if I can go back here for a second to our LMN, I've got an estimate here and it's got deck and garden and fence and driveway and inside it's got details for all those things. If I choose the simple option, the only thing that's going to get exported to QuickBooks is this total price here, or at least the total price broken down by cost code. So it's extremely simple. Not many people use that option. Uh, keeps things really clean. That's simple. Uh, summary is probably the most popular option. And if I can go back to LMN to illustrate what's going to get exported at the summary level, these totals here will get exported, but not the detail. So the estimate would look like this. It would say 12 Sherman Oaks. There'd be a line item in the estimate for each one of these major work areas, along with its price. But it won't export all these little details inside. So the labor, the equipment, the materials, all those details will not come over to QuickBooks if you use the summary option. That's probably the most popular. But for those who do want all the details in QuickBooks, you can choose the detailed option. So the detailed option, if I go back to LMN here, is going to export all these details for each item. So it'll say driveway, and then each one of these will be a line item in your estimate. So it makes for a much longer estimate, but some people like that level of detail, either for customer printouts or just for their own reporting. If I go back here, I've got two options. I've got detailed hide and detailed print. And what that means is I can export everything as detailed, but hide the details when I print a, an estimate for my customer. So the details are there in QuickBooks, but they don't show up for uh, printing. Or I can choose detailed print details, and that literally prints every line item, labor, equipment, materials, and subs for your estimate if you print it out of QuickBooks. Those are your four options there. Everything from just the total to every single detail and all the costs and prices. Most people choose summary. Um, or detailed high details, but it's completely up to you. I recommend you try each one and I recommend you keep things simple. Next up is going to determine how this estimate should get exported. So the import status over here is going to be critical for that. What will happen in the import status is it'll look for a customer in QuickBooks with this name. And if it finds one, it'll match it for you, even though you, it'll pick up the text as the same and actually do the match for you. So in this case, it detected a match and it automatically matched my LMN estimate to the customer in QuickBooks that I want to export it to. If I've never exported that customer before, I'm going to get a different import status. I'm going to get an import status that says new customer, new job. And what that means is that LMN will automatically create a new customer and a new job in QuickBooks for you if that customer didn't already exist in QuickBooks. So you got two options. It'll detect a customer for you or it'll create one for you. The third option is if maybe your LMN name of your customer doesn't match the name that somebody entered into QuickBooks, but it's the same customer. So you've got somebody in QuickBooks under a different name, but it's actually that same customer. And that happens often. Estimators don't always know exactly how a customer was named in QuickBooks. And if that's the case, what will happen is the import status is going to say new customer, new job, because it didn't recognize a match on that name. But if you know there's a matching customer, what you can do is hit the edit match button. And that'll bring up all your customers in QuickBooks. So if you want to match somebody to a specific customer or job, you simply find that job either by scrolling through the list or using the find here and then clicking on that customer or that job and then clicking OK to create a match. And that way, even if the names don't match in LMN and QuickBooks, you can still create a match. And LMN is going to remember that match going forward. So next time you export something for that customer, it'll automatically keep that match for you. In this case, it did find a customer and, um, and a job. So it already matched it for me. I'm good to go. But like you saw, those are the other two scenarios. 
It'll create a new one for you, or you can match them manually. When you're done, go to Sync Now. Just one final reminder, before you go to Sync Now, make sure you check your service estimates list. Do the same thing for them before you run your, your export. But I'm all set here, I'm ready to go, so I'm gonna click Sync Now, and it'll process it for a second, then it'll say Done. Now, if there was an error, I didn't get any, but if there was an error, uh, click here to import to view the log file. That's going to be an important file to send to our support if you need support. Oftentimes, it'll tell you exactly what's happening here, and you can fix it yourself, like a tax wasn't matched or a cost code wasn't matched properly. Um, if it's an error that you don't understand, keep that log, cut and paste it to our support staff, and we can help you with that. But it's really important for us to know what the error was. Most of the time, you won't get an error, though, and it'll look like that. We can hit close. And I'll just jump into QuickBooks to see what that looks like. So here we are in QuickBooks. I go to my customers and I'm going to find that hall residence. Here they are here. And under Sherman Oaks Landscaping, I've got an estimate now over in QuickBooks. If I open that estimate, and remember we chose the summary level for the export. If I open that export, that estimate, deck, garden, fence, driveway, pergola, the cost, the price, markup. All that came over and now I'm ready for uh, invoicing. That uh, estimate makes invoicing in QuickBooks easy, especially for um, progress or install based estimates. Is if you're doing um, installation, and let's say I want a 20% deposit on this job, I can now just go up here and say create invoice. And I can say create an invoice for a percentage of the entire estimate, or I can break it down by different percentages for each item. In this case, we'll keep it simple. And I'll say OK. And now it's created from that estimate an invoice that says, here's the estimated amount. We're asking for 20%. So here's the amount. And it made an invoice for 20% of the job for that customer. So save and close. And it'll track, QuickBooks will track what percentage has been invoiced for each uh, line item on the estimate so that you can do progress invoicing for your clients and your estimates for your clients, or I'm sorry, your invoices for your clients. Have a nice neat layout, especially if you use the progress invoice uh, template. A nice neat layout showing the original estimated amount, how much has been invoiced already, what you're asking for on this invoice, and, and ultimately their final amount. And that's how install, uh, design, build, progress billing gets done in QuickBooks. Once you've got that down though, you basically have understanding on how to do an estimate export from LMN to QuickBooks. If you have any questions about exporting an estimate, you can sign on to our live chat or you can visit goelement.com slash help for videos like this or for lots of frequently asked questions or solutions to errors, et cetera, that might've come up. Can't get help with either of those two things? Feel free to email us at advice at goelement.com. We'll get back to you as quick as possible and help you get through it. Once you get it set up right, it tends to work over and over again, save you all kinds of hours and errors going forward. Thanks for watching.